Welcome back, audience. Today I'll be discussing uh, politics in the upcoming election in America, uh, which is the election 2012, Obama versus Romney. The, I'm going to discuss a few key factors here. Okay, so... First thing, uh, people say, and I'm surprised there are people who still say Obama has never given a valid birth certificate, which um, that's not true at all. He submitted both forms of a birth certificate, which is more tax returns than Romney has released. Okay, let's get to the main issues here in the economy. Uh, Romney was involved and uh, he constantly uh, acquires businesses, runs them into the ground for profits for him, and then just throws the business aside. Or, and he, and, uh, he made Olympic uh, souvenirs and stuff and he put his face on them, which is really egotistical. And he made them in China and, he's, and when asked about this he said, well it's cheaper to make them there. So what what do you think he's going to do with the economy here? He's going to do the same things that he's his quote unquote tried and true methods of shipping jobs out because people in China are willing to work for a lot less. Which is the main reason jobs are getting shipped overseas. And Romney is also uh, completely against gay marriage. Well, as a, well, that's what he's saying now. He keeps flip-flopping on every single issue. Uh, as uh, somebody said that Romney's greatest political opponent is himself. And that's kind of true because first he was, well, I can't remember which order these go in, but he was for Obamacare. He invented Obamacare, kind of. And and he says he's against it. He does lots of flip-flopping on every issue. He says that he's this, he's that, he's this, he's that. I'll find a link to another video that um, a lot of these points are coming from. He's uh, an extraordinarily flip-flopper. Um, Obama has really never completely flip-flopped on something. I mean, the only stance he changed is that he believes civil unions were enough, and then now he believes that marriage equality is what the country needs right now. No candidate is really perfect. Obama hasn't done a perfect job, but Romney sure as hell won't. So, because at least Obama is talking with the public. He asked for public opinion. He wants to know what the public actually thinks about doing things. But uh, most of all, the, why most of Obama's stuff hasn't worked is because Congress keeps blocking it. If you're complaining about how there's not new jobs, blame Congress because they blocked his jobs bill. And the real problem in American politics is today that you only care about the two main candidates. If people actually were responsible voters, looked into all the candidates, all the independents and third party candidates. I mean, there's likely a better candidate out there than either of them. And the problem is they won't have a chance to win because you don't believe they have a chance to win, so you won't vote for them. And uh, because if you believe that your vote won't make a difference, it won't. really annoying when people say that oh, Obama has raised the debt such and such. He's raised the debt slower than uh, Reagan did and uh, Reagan is the, you know, the god of the Republicans which a lot of people point to Reagan and Reagan was a freaking nut job because he believed the movie he starred in which was called Star Wars, not the same one you're thinking of but he believed that was real. And just because that little bit of insanity actually worked to scare the Russians, it 
doesn't mean that he was that great of a president. I mean, no president is really a great, great president. So Lincoln did really well, uh, for an example. The point is, Obama wants to reform things, get health care to the people, and uh, people like to blame people for gas prices, and it's never anywhere near the president's fault that gas prices are high or anything that's, you know, by the big oil, oil conglomerates. Um, can't remember what the actual organization is called. Uh, post in comments if you know. But they are the oil speculation people who determine the prices of things and they're really out of control and we shouldn't be using fossil fuels to begin with because they are a limited resource and they do get more expensive because I mean people have predicted that we would have run out of gas a few years ago so it's no real surprise that prices are on the rise because when the basic laws of uh, scarcity demand these economic laws that people rarely recognize that when there's not there's less of something the price goes up and uh, we should be switching to more electric power solar power wind generated stuff uh, post and comments other things but the issue of this election was really an issue of civil rights because people deserve the right to marry whoever they want. I'll, I'll go into this more in a later video, but the point is that you're either for people's, you're either for someone who cares, who is at least trying to do whatever he can, even though Congress keeps trying to block him. Or you can vote for someone who doesn't even agree with himself, who believes in some crazy planetary religious -y stuff, which I don't judge people by the religion, I judge people by their actions, but if those actions are based on their religion, then I have every right to judge them in that way, and I'm not a judgmental person. but. And uh, he's done a lot of things. He's hidden a lot of things. And um, Romney's own father said that if you have nothing to hide, uh, release your information. And uh, Romney's dad released all of his tax returns over like 10 years. And uh, Romney is obviously hiding something that he doesn't want people to know just an untrustworthy person. I mean, he has no empathy whatsoever. He, for one, uh, there was this guy with muscular dystrophy who um, uses medical marijuana for his treatments. It's the only thing that works for him. He's tried the synthetics. Uh, Ronnie was talking about, have you tried the synthetics? He said he have, and they make him feel sick. They just don't work for him. And uh, then Romney just starts brushing him off, saying, you know, I need medical marijuana for these reasons. And it's the only thing that works for certain medical conditions. And uh, so there's that issue. Uh, one. That I don't understand how people get these inclined. They believe whatever they hear instead of the, like, I've done my research. I've researched everything. Well, almost everything. I can't claim to research everything, but I've done more research than uh, probably 90% of American voters have. And I'm, uh, I'm only, this is my first election year, so 
I mean, it really just comes down to responsibility. Are you going to actually vote for someone based on real facts or attack ads? And uh, attack ads are stupid, by the way, because when you make an attack ad, you're just saying, you know, we're both horrible, but I want you to think he's worse than me. And that is really a bad way to try to get voters. You should really focus on uh, what you stand for, although uh, the fundraising campaigns, I feel like at this point, people either know what they need to know about the election, or they just don't care anymore and are going to vote whatever way they want to. Oh, I have a problem with uh, the way primaries are set up, where you have to vote all Democratic or all Republican, because... That's really not how the voting system was intended to be. People shouldn't just be one party over the other on uh, policy because there's a lot of things like most people don't agree 100% with either party. And uh, that's quite common among Americans. That people tend not to agree 100% with either party. Uh, so if you have to vote completely on one side, I mean, why even bother having a primary at that point? because it's just going to be screwed up votes because there are terrible uh, Republicans and terrible Democrats where well, like maybe you want a Democrat in this seat or a Republican in this seat versus a Democrat here. It's really not a complete Democratic voting system like it was intended to be. Um, we also should get rid of the Electoral College and go, and go by popular vote. Because uh, with the internet, there's really no need for people to speak for us anymore. Uh, the Electoral College is pointless for this day and age. I'm thinking that's most of what I have to say right now. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, please talk to me, please share my video. Um, I need like thousands of views to make any sort of uh, income from this and uh, I got college expenses coming up so please do me a favor help me share me do whatever you can uh, one hour to master out